watching 8-bit days a week and today I'm gonna play Tekken 3 on a PlayStation Classic. Now as you may have seen my one of my previous videos I did play this already before I was just trying it and uh, it does tend to be a disappointment that this game is on the PAL version this is one of the games that um, having it in the PAL version really affected it so much. Unlike some of the other titles like um, uh, GDA uh, or Jumping Flash, I believe, it didn't hurt that much that it was a uh, PAL version. Or at least it still felt okay, playable. But this one really kind of get burned. So yeah, I turned the music to original arcade, as that's what again Round I really played. One. Gonna, it almost sounds like I never had a PS1, right? I've been always saying, oh, I played this on the PC, I played this on the arcade. <laughs> but no, yeah, I actually got one. Probably, I'm no early adopter there. I did get a PS1 kind of late in its life cycle. So, yep, some of my timings there are completely off. Sometimes it's okay though. Playing it with this controller feels... Uh, it's not bad. I'm a stick player though. But seems to be responsive enough. I know there's like a... Someone in the competitive scene. Round one. On Street Fighter. Was it Luffy, I think? Actually uses the original PS1 controller, the one that doesn't have analogs and stuff. He just uses a converter to be able to play Street Fighter. So, I don't know, maybe he's happy about this having a controller like this one that it has already USB if someone could just maybe make this usable on other consoles I guess come to think of it I should try it on the PC sometime I'll let you guys know how that goes maybe I could use it there Seeing that things are what feels to be slow motion, it's kind of easier to react. So, Round one. it just make uh, I don't know. <laughs> Was it easier? But no, it's probably easier to an extent, but I still prefer having the normal speed for better timings.
remember Tekken, the first Tekken was the Round one. probably the game, Fight the attack. game that made me really want to have a a PlayStation. Although I should be Round two. fortunate that I'm still able to play it even without uh, uh, a PlayStation back then. I had uh, friends who had the game. That's where I, you know, I usually go to their place and uh, play it so much. And if I couldn't go to his place, I'll just play it in the arcade. I also played um, Tekken 2 a lot. Uh, I guess I really played a lot of uh, Tekken during the PlayStation days. Wh which kind of explains why most of the other games on the PlayStation Classic I haven't played. But when it comes to the fighting games, yeah, chances are I've played it already. After a few matches there, Round I'm beginning one. to, Fight. how do we say, acclimate to the, <laughs> uh, frame rate speed of, um, uh, the PAL version here. So it just, uh, needs some getting used to, and eventually you might still enjoy it. Not competitively, of course. More of just messing around, I guess. Wow. <laughs> I do still play Tekken a lot. I have Tekken 7 on Steam. Um... Although it's been maybe two months since, or two or three months since the last time I played it, um, it was in a tournament actually. I uh, used Paul and actually reached uh, second place. The guy who won was using Noctis. <laughs> which I barely had any experience against with. Round I, actually, that was the first time <laughs> I had uh, a chance to see and uh, fight that guy. So, that's fine. It, it was uh, really just a local tournament for fun. Oh, come on, I can't lose now. I tried to main that guy in uh, Tech and Tag, the first one. He can be fun to use, but his size is also his uh, disadvantage. Okay, well that's it for Tekken 3.
and uh, this definitely needed to be on the PlayStation Classic but unfortunately they screwed it up by using the PAL version for I wish I know why because it actually affects the gameplay so much uh, again, as opposed to, say, Jumping Flash or GTA. And that's it. Uh, thanks for watching 8-Bit Days a Week. Please hit the subscribe, leave a like, and your comments. See you in the next video.